Somehow, Mario had found the strength to cross the desert's sweltering dunes. Ahead was a sprawling complex of ruins rising out of the sand. Thankful for the shade, Mario and TP ventured deeper inside. They were the very ruins old man Watchet had been warned him about. What dangers lurked in the shady corridors ahead? Hello everybody, my name is Ruben Kings and welcome to chapter 1-4 of Super Pimp Mario, aka the Monster of the Ruins. Very cool. Now we are here. We are inside this cool little temple of doom. This music... Mmm, pristine, dude. This soundtrack is so underrated. I love it so much. Mario, I can feel it calling. The pure heart is nearby. But wait, I sense something else emanating from the sand dunes. Be careful now, Mario. Something else is waiting for us ahead. Immediately, I'm going to go into 3D and just show you the absolute, you know, giant stuff that we have to go through here. Now we have a squig. Once again, he is dead in one hit. It doesn't really matter. And, ooh, you're back. Hello, my friend. This is a buzzy beetle. It looks much tougher than it looks, and its HP is 1, and, uh, yeah. There's a lot of stuff that uh, these guys are capable of. It can hurt yourself. Okay. I want to be careful with that thing. Now, this place is very reminiscent of uh, Bowser's Castle. If you haven't noticed. I'll take you. Now, we could go to the right, but I want to see what's over here. There's just nothing. Alright, you can go over there. Uh, be careful with that flame pillar thing. You don't want to burn yourself. But I do want to see what else is lurking up here. Purple squigs, not bad. And, ooh, a chest. I'll take that. Now, these actually throw projectiles at you. I didn't mention that. Alright, what's up here? Ooh, a live shroom! That's actually really good. Okay, so we have a live shroom just in case we die. And honestly, I don't think we'll need it, but you never know because I'm really bad at platforming. I'm just letting you know right now. Alright, let's move forward. Alright, that's cool, that's cool. Yeah, it's always nice to explore. I like to go into 3D to see things. You can easily avoid the fire pillars uh, by just doing that. Now you can see to our left, there's a door that is uh, not exactly open, so we're gonna have to use our 3D and to use that door that is on the right. And ooh, okay. Now you can leave these up, but they're really heavy, so you'll lose HP. I believe this is the key. Yes, we got the first key of the Yold Ruins. Very nice. Just go into 3D to avoid those fellas, and you should be good. Yeah, those guys are really heavy. Probably can't even carry those naturally. Alright, let's open this door. And yeah, we're just speeding through this dungeon, honestly. This dungeon's not exactly hard. I might say so myself. I'm gonna say this real quick. And yeah, I like to explore every single room in the 3D world. Just because I feel like it's necessary sometimes. Uh, you never know what you'll find. You know, and it's honestly worth it. It's worth your, you know, worth your while here. Let's see, is there anything up here? No, there is not. Alright. Avoid these guys at all costs. But yeah, once again, we're gonna deal with this. I will not hit that. And yeah, like I said, the bottom door is close. And we have a button. I see. Okay, so yeah, you will need to use Thoryu here. Something happened outside the room. <laughs> you get to climb out. Now, I believe you can actually just grind on these and get some extra HP. Because I believe they infinitely respawn, but I think after... Yeah, no. They do infinitely respawn, but after a certain while, your attack... Sorry, you begin to get a negative score. Alright, so what exactly did happen outside the room? Aha! Uh -huh. I see now. Okay, so that opened up. Now, we can't exactly fit through there, so we're gonna need to get Thoryu to grab that key. And very good progress. I love it so much. Okay. Very nice. So yeah, like, you know, you gotta you gotta use like your mind to figure out certain puzzles here. Now we can't exactly get through this door. Or can we? Use TP. There is a platform here. 
Very nice. We get to go up ahead. I was saying very nice a lot, because I can. Alright, locked door. Number four. And ooh, okay. I did not remember this was here, but it's very obvious that it is. I believe it's a chest. Yep. We'll take that. And we get the, abyss, the Buzzy Beetle card. So yeah, we will do a little bit more damage to the Buzzy Beetles now. Gotta be very careful. Now, I've always wondered what happens when you do that. I was just curious. Don't do that. Yeah, if you actually <laughs> put yourself into 2D, into uh, from 3D in uh, planes where you shouldn't exist, it will literally just make you fall through the floor. So, use your attacks wisely. Now, you can safely just hit these. And there is a key. Now, you can jump up here. I think you can. Very nice, just getting it like that. That's about it. Pretty nice. I don't think you can actually grab these. No, not at all. I was trying to see if you could, you know, just to check it out. Alright. Opening up the door, and let's go up inside. We're in some for some interesting stuff here. Uh, gotta make sure to go into 3D, you know, to check out everything here. Alright, so there is a door there that we can't exactly get. There is a ladder, so we're gonna climb up it. And Mario looks so funny when you climb up ladders. Snake eater. Alright, nothing over here. Do want to be careful though. Never know what's gonna happen. Let's open up this. You can only see it in 3D, and there's a huge red button. A big threatening red button. Although you might want to be careful, you might want to get to it as fast as you can. As soon as you press that big red threatening button, you will lower the bridge, and these guys will fall through and. Luckily, we can too, so let's go down here, and then make a solid platform for you. That's very nice. Nothing over here, but let's go inside. We can no longer go back, by the way. There's nothing else for us. And now, this room, very interesting. So you gotta hit these in the order you find them in. So you have one, two, and then one, two, three. And then one, two, three, four. And that was not it. Okay. Maybe you got him in order. Maybe that's it. I assume that's what you had to do. Maybe? There you go. Okay, you just gotta hit it once. I'm so dumb. I was just like doing extra work. And you get all these stairs opening up for you. Oh my god. Oh yeah, this reminds me of a lot like of a Bowser level you'd find in like the old Mario. Now there's nothing back here. All right, let's just go up here, recharge our HP, and let's save. Yes, you already know. There is a super shroom here. You get 20 HP, and let's go upstairs. So we're back outside. It's a very lengthy place. Seems to be nothing here. Or is there? We'll find out. Warning. Oh dear god. This is so cool. Jesus. Huge dragon. Intrusion detected. Leave immediately or be purged. Wait, scan, analyzed. Red cap detected. Blue overall detected. Mario is a sussy buck up. Incredible possible subject identification, but it is impossible. Hold your position. Searching data banks. I mean, it's not like robotic flood. I love how that's the Wii, uh, the Wii searching feature. <laughs> the eyelid. That's so cool. Search complete. One positive match. System overload. Legendary healer identified. Forgive me, hero. I am called Fractale. My only purpose is to defend the pure heart from lawless intruders. You are late. I have waited thousands of years for your arrival. You may pass. The pure heart is just ahead. 
<laughs> it won't be that easy. No, no. Oh, what? Who speaks? Oh my god, who the fuck is this? So very nice to meet you, and your mustache. I am complex and master of dimensions, the piece of crowds. I am Dementio. Remember the name well. I know you, you're that... It would be so very dull if your journey ended so easily. Instead, it ends with magic. Man's gonna corrupt him? <laughs> ah, yes, much better. Now you, you and this robotic guardian can spend some quality time. And yes, quality snack time. And we need snacks on you, for you are the snack. Ciao. What did he just... Eh, I am error press any key to restart. System not found, insert install disk, disk not found, please confirm, discover is closed, read error, insert boot disk, and press enter, no response system may be busy or melting into slag, application error, save your work and quit, you lost everything, way to go, genius, waiting for the processors, 404 computer hatches not found, threat level upgraded to jelly roll, one diminution in an end. This man is crazy. Or this robot. <laughs> oh my god. When create identification, yeah, I don't know how to speak computer. Control, alt, delete! Oh no, poor Fractal. He was a, a good friend of ours for a minute, and we lost him. So this massive man is the first boss of Paper Mario, Super Paper Mario. Now you gotta be very careful. I believe you can scan him, yeah. So that's Fractal. He has, I don't know how many HP. Attack is one, it can fly down, swoop down, and build his big open mouth. And I think the antenna on like Hornet Top has had his weak spot. I think you're gonna have to use Thoryu to hit it. Okay, so yeah, as a kid, when I first played against Fractal, I did not know what to do. I was stuck in this boss fight for hours. I was literally waiting for so long to figure out how to play against him. All you gotta do is literally wait for him to go over here. And you gotta not do that. I am very bad. You gotta wait for him. So he's gonna go that way. But instead he's gonna come back. And you wanna kinda like hitch a ride on his back. Looks like Frecto is charging straight at us. Better watch out. Uh, I'm gonna take damage here, but it's totally fine. Yes, yeah, so exactly what you wanna do. Alright, here we go. So, your main goal here is to grab some enemies. These are little baby fractals, as I like to call them. You can kill them for instant damage. Alright, want to be careful here. You can do that. You can spawn on his head. And you might want to be careful here, because he will, you know, charge his tail out. Now, you will fall if you don't jump it right, and I totally missed the jump. <laughs> Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Respawn, please. Thank you. Hello, babies. And there you go. System crash. He is donezo. Ugh, I have malfunctioned. What have I done? Hero, hero, the error is mine. I am sorry. Shame circuit smoldering. Please, you must save our world. And he is dead. Literally, he becomes a skeleton. Rest in pieces, my friend. <laughs> the little baby one. And that is it for our poor old pal, Fractal. There seems to be nothing else left for us here. Uh, I don't think if you scan anything here, there's nothing, so... Might as well just dip. That was a pretty cool fight. That was just really bad. And here we have a very important piece. We go forward. Welcome, hero. My name is Merlumina. Merlumina, damn. This music, though, goddamn. I am a dormant soul. I have waited long to give you the pure heart. Yes, I have been waiting for 1500 years. Your presence here must mean that all worlds have begun to collapse. Yes, they have, in fact. That's why we're here. 
Before I give you the pure heart, you and I must speak. Listen well, hero. Long, long ago, my people have built a civilization held as a beacon of culture. Sadly, despite our power, there was one thing we were powerless to stop. The Dark Prognosticus. Nobody knows who authored the Dark Book, but it foretold the events of the future. On the last page, it was written that a chaotic power would devour the world. We knew it had to be stopped. Our greatest minds devised a grand plan to stop the tragedy before it happened. We needed something in the pure essence of love to confront this chaos. The researchers set to work, and they created the pure heart. We divided the purity heart into eight pieces and hid them into different dimensions. We hid them for their own protection, waiting for the day the hero would arrive. Everything was going as planned, or so it seemed. But the wheels of destiny began to spin wildly out of control. It began a very small incident. At that time, I was young and quite beautiful. At the start of the day, I met two very fetching young men. And you see, my life set sail towards a maelstrom of love. You see, I asked one out, but however, it was well, you know. Basically, and it, then I said, and he said, and then... And she started to ramble on, and she goes into a tangent about her relationships. That's so funny. And Mario and TP are straight up falling asleep. And that is why we hope the Purity Heart will have the power to defeat Chaos. To save all worlds, we must fight the eight pure hearts, and that form the Purity Heart. And that is all I have to say on the matter. Were you listening carefully? Uh, yes, I was, I swear. Excellent. I did tell the short version, so I wasn't sure if you would fully understand. Oh my god. It's up to you to find the pure hearts. For there are our last and only hope. Go forth, hero, and save the world. So we're depending on you. And here we go, fellas. Oh my goodness. This is so cute, man. And yeah. We got our first pure heart, technically. This is our the one we got earned. Merlin just straight up give us one. But that's it, that's the end of chapter, and that is the end of chapter one. Before disappearing, Merlumina had to entrusted Mara to save the every world. She had waited 1500 years to deliver the message to the legendary hero. With that second pure heart in hand, Mari was in great spirits. But six pure hearts still remained to be found, and thus the journey had begun. With a flutter, TP said, I think we'd better return to Flipside. The weight of every world's fate once again rested on Mari's shoulders. And yes, I will save my progress, but I'm going to end things off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and all that goodness once again. My name is Ruby Kings, and I'll see you guys in the next video for the Chapter 2 Prologue. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.